Hello, my name is Kniaz Emraslanov and I'll be answering question 1 of Creative Critical Reflection. Question 1 is, how does your product use or challenge conventions and how does it represent social groups or issues? I created my film sequence on the base of ideas I gathered from different horror movies such as Glass and Split, as well as Blinding Edge Pictures was the inspiration for the logo and theme of the film. The rough textures in Blinding Edge Pictures logo show the effect I was going for, as well as the VHS design of how I want the film texture to be and the feeling it gives while watching it. These effects are used to make the audience feel intrigued into watching the film. The color palette shows how all the colors set a dark and scary mood, as well as tracking camera movements creates the feeling of the main character being followed with the help of dark lighting in the house, which creates a more disturbing atmosphere. The tracking camera movements are also part of the suspense. The camera starts by going upstairs to the third floor where we first meet with our main character. After following the main character, the demon reflection of him comes out and at that moment the camera turns away and runs back down to safety. I created the demonic presence by having my brother, the main character, move his head on a video for around 40 seconds from side to side which I then sped up drastically to create a demonic head shaking effect. This is supposed to scare the audience due to the demonic sound and it popping out of nowhere. Although the demonic presence may scare the audience, the demon isn't much of a jump scare but more of information for the viewers for what is to come and what the film is about. As the demon is shown for a couple of seconds with no background information, and only sounds of a demon talking and a scream. The demonic presence has also low visibility on that video due to it overlapping the main video of the character just standing. The dark lights create a feeling of horror as it makes a rough texture and this makes the viewers see dark images and colors of the film. And with the green VHS effect, the film looks glitchy as well as disturbing for the viewers to watch. This process wasn't easy as it took longer to figure out how to do every effect of VHS, the color, and then demonic head shaking.